This is the South Coast Air Quality Management District, the meeting of March 7th, 2008, tape number five. And, and this is the, the final public commentary which I was able to give. And if you had seen some of the other, the other things, I mean, I, I, I may include a, um, a, a section of the, how pally they were with the WISPA folks. Uh, but the whole thing was sort of, was sort of a sad commentary on the fact that you know, they, the Air Quality Management District is just basically not doing its job, but it thinks that it's doing fine. You know, they basically don't live in the areas that they, they that are really polluted. They just say, well, the people that live there choose to live there. Hey, thanks. Doug Kordoff, thank you for pretending to listen to me. I'm here to talk about the banked stacks of refineries to windward of Los Angeles. We accept these refineries as if they're necessary because we all drive gasoline cars. But they're not necessary. You know, there are electric cars, and I'm proving that there are such things right now. I grew up in one. And we really don't need to have so many of these refineries. But it was mentioned earlier, something that I need to take uh, exception to. You know, the, the board is able to make comments, and we're not able to answer them, and you're able to have the final word. So I'd like to answer one comment. It was said that the refineries are the most uh, regulated industry in the world. Well, if so, they're the most unregulated industry because the kind of regulation is sort of a self-regulation, a self-monitoring, and a sort of a laissez-faire. We saw today that a representative of what you call WISPA, which is, sounds very nice and cute, uh, the Western States Petroleum Association, big oil, uh, is referred to by a first name basis by staff. They talk with staff all the time. And you know, they're, they're here every day because they get paid to be here if they need to be. And they're, they're maneuvering with staff all the time. You need to go down you know, to the Wilmington area or Long Beach area where these stacked refineries emit pollutants into the air every night. And you can see it. Now some of it's steam, and some of it's benzene, and some of it's HXCX. Uh, and you, 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 you can't imagine the kind of odor that exists there at two in the morning and it creeps into kids' kids' bedrooms, and it, it pollutes their lungs. And the next morning they say, you know, Mommy, I can't breathe. And they go down to the emergency room and spend $1,000 of taxpayer money to get an inhaler and be sent home, and they still can't breathe the next night because there's SOX and NOX from the refineries creeping into their lungs. In the presence of ozone and sunlight, it turns into uh, nitric and sulfuric acid. That's what those things are. And they say NO. X and SOX, it sounds really cute, but it's really acid. Now, uh, we need to do something about these refineries. These hot spots, and not only do they affect this area, but this air goes up and it goes all the way inland. It goes into Pomona, it goes into the Inland Empire. Yes, it goes into San Bernardino County. It goes right through the passes and it pollutes everything. Now, what are we doing you know, to, re to actually confront these refineries? We don't need to work with them. We don't need to be on a first name basis with them. We need a strong agency that spends our $300 million and confronts them, that forces them to do things and doesn't let them self monitor themselves, and doesn't say, well, they do everything they need to do. These people are polluting our kids' lungs and we have a big cost shifting of money from the public treasury to the oil companies. Now this, this is uh, the uh, WISPA commenting before this is before I had made my diatribe against them. You notice how the governor's representative on the board is just so schmoozy with WISPA and asks them for their opinion. You know, after all, they're the industry, says the governor, and you know we have to bow to industry. Um, Poisoning other staff people's staff presentation babies. included a, a, a very quick slide about the emission estimates associated with it, the 14-day, um, I don't know what we'd call it, uh, period that you could actually operate without having the test verified. Have you estimated whether or not you agree with those emission estimates? I mean, do you have emission estimates of your own of, of what we would potentially be allowing in terms of emissions if we went with that 14-day period? Let me, may I ask actually around Ron Wilkness, who's my technical consultant, to come up here? Okay, and the other thing had to do with the ISP. My technical uh, consultant. I'll get that, maybe you can answer that one, is that uh, when I read the staff report on page 24 of the staff report, it, it explicitly says ISD will not be used as a compliance tool. And you guys saw that, right? You guys. We did see that, um, although we do feel that the language is, is indicating that it would 
be used as a compliance tool. So there, we feel that there are some concerns with the language there. I bet there's concerns. 